Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching how to make an arrow combination lock. So I've set up an example right here, so I'll show you how it works. So you just get out bow and arrow and you hit your wood buttons. So my combination lock is an X. And then as soon as I get that X completed, the light will come on and the door will open. Um, you can actually output this to whatever you want. Um, but I'm not going to get too detailed into explaining the redstone now. Um, I'm going to explain it while I'm building it. So this is the redstone. It might seem a little bit confusing, but hopefully you'll understand it after I show you how to build it. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. So what you are going to need is 99 redstone, 18 redstone torches, 8 repeaters, 9 wooden buttons, only wooden because I don't think stone can get hit by arrows. You're going to need 9 block of your choice for the back of the pin board, pin code board. You're going to need 9 various walls. And then I've just got here a stack of 64 blocks just so I can jump up on stuff. And I've got a little bit of decoration here. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a 3x3 three three wall. So I'm going to do this with my 9 blocks of choice I've got here which are iron blocks. So just want to create a 3x3 three three wall like that. And at the back of the wall you want to place a redstone torch on every single block. Now we need to put our 9 buttons on the front as well. So put every single wooden button you have on the front like that. And you'll notice as I press one of these buttons the corresponding torch behind it will turn off. So once you have done that, you want to get out your wool of your choice. And now what we're going to be doing is extending every single torch off into its little point so we can actually program it. So it's going to be similar to the passcode lock uh, pre combination lock that I made. So before we start extending the torches off, we need to create the nine points that we have to join them up to. So starting from this middle column here, what you're going to do is go out seven blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the seventh one you also want to create a two high, two high tower and then destroy the bottom block so it's got a space under it. Now going right of it, we want to go out eight blocks, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And every second block you want to destroy it, so one, two, destroy, one, two, destroy, one, two, destroy, and one, two, destroy. Now we need to do that to the other side, so eight blocks out this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every second block destroy. Pretty simple. You might think so. Now what we're going to have to do is extend every torch off into its own block here. So we're going to start with this top right one here. I'm going to be calling them opposite because that really is the top left on there, even though it looks like the top right. So we're going to start with this top right one here. And what we need to do is put a block on top of it. We're going to be using different wool for each torch, just so we know which is which. We're going to put a block on top of it, then we're going to put a block on the left side of it, and bring it out until you get in line with the last one there. Ooh, one more. And then bring it into it. And then just, oh, I can just bring it into like that, so it, you can actually put redstone down onto it. Now we're going to do the middle one, we're going to change colour, so Again, we're just going to put a block on top of it, and then we're going to not make it the same height. This we're going to have it one more higher. So I'm just going to bring this across to the middle here, and then bring that down like that. For this top left one here, we're going to do exactly the same as we did there on that side. So block on top, block on the right of it, bring it in line with the last one and then bring it across until it touches the white wall there. For this one here, the bottom, the middle right one, we need to put a block um, next to this bottom one here and bring this across until you get in line with the second to last one there. So we're in line now 
and let's bring that across like that and it should touch the white wall. Do that for the other side as well, so just mirror image that, bring that across until you get in line with the last or second one, if you want to call it the second to last or the real second one. For the middle here, all we need to do for that is put a block there coming across like that. For the bottom left, bottom right one here, what we need to do is actually nothing, but we need to get out a block anyway, because the redstone is going to be on the floor. We want to bring this one here across to this block here so it can actually get up onto it. So we just put a little block there. And same with the bottom left one there. We want to put a block there so that can come over here and up there. Now I'm still missing two and that is the bottom one and the... Oops. <laughs> That's not going to work. So get rid of that red one. My mistake. I, 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 tell me who called that. Who called that? So this middle one is actually supposed to come across here, out that far, this way, and then over to this white one, like that. And then this bottom one here, you have to dig out a hole under it. So this could be a little bit tricky. So dig out a hole under it and make it um, so you can see the light. So there we go, I can see the light there, we'll just put a red block there anyway. I want to put the uh, white block there, just so we've got the right corresponding blocks going everywhere. And then we want to bring this up to that block there. So we'll just put a little block there so it can get up, and then the redstone should be able to get to it. Now we're going to get out our redstone, and we're going to place it on all the blocks that we just placed. So we're going to start with this top green one, we're going to go in the same order as we placed them. So you don't need to put it on top there, but if you did, it's going to conflict with this pink one right here. So all we need to do is place it next to it, and then just bring it across, and then stop when you get to the wall like that. Now we're going to do the middle one. So just place that on top of it, bring it across, and then stop when you get on the wall. The purple one, again, just bring it across and stop when you get on the wall. Ooh. Don't put it on top like I just did then. Don't do that. Bring that across. And bam. Now the next one that we're going to do is the blue one. So just put that on top of the blue. And stop when you get to the white. The green one. As again, place it until you stop to the white. I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. The middle one here. We just want to put it on top of it, like that. You might need to make some block covers for this because um, some blocks might be, some redstone might be conflicting here because of um, it being like that. So don't worry too much. We can just put some cover over it. And what we need to do is join this one here up to that yellow one. So I'm just going to bring that across and then I'm going to bring that straight up and stop on the white wool. We're going to get out of yellow wool just to make it like so that we know this is the yellow. And we're going to put that on top of it so it's not joining up with this green one and it's not joining up with this red one here. Now do that exactly the same to the other side. So um, this bottom right one here, we're going to put a block there, bring it across until we're in line with that orange one, then bring it up and stop on top of the white there. Now get out your orange wool this time and just put it on top so it doesn't conflict with other redstone as you can see like that and now they're not conflicting at all. Now for the last one we just want to put the redstone in the tunnel, this could be a little bit hard. So just put the redstone in the tunnel like that. Get out our white wool because it's actually a the white um, torch there. Well, uh, it's corresponded to the white wool, and then you'll notice that I've got that thing there, just bring that up, and then stop when you get to that last white wool there. 
Now this is the bit where you can program program it. So I'm going to teach you how to program it. Pro program it. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. So if you want a button to be down for whatever certain thing you want to come on, you want to put a block diagonally down on it. So this button, this top right button here, now has to be pressed for whatever thing has to be unlocked, opened. Could be it could be a freaking lava bin if you know how to like. So every second block, you want to place a redstone repeater. So that's one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. And now this should all line up to the end here. Um, I'm currently don't know why I don't have enough redstone, so um, you want to make sure you have a little bit more. I'll be back in a sec when I just got some more. You can wait. How much more did I gotta need? I need one. I need one, two, three. Oh no! Wait, wait. I do have enough. <laughs> what am I thinking? So what you need to do here now is. Actually, we need one more. Oh no, we'll stuff it. So what the last red thing you need to do is place it in between the holes where you've got the repeaters. So they all turn on like that. And now this is going to be your output here. So um, I currently do not have my redstone, but um, I'll show you um, after what you can do with it. So um, actually, let's get something to test out. I'll just come back in a second. I'll show you what I've tested out. This should be final. Um, working um, fully now so um, it's a bit hard to show you how it would actually show you that it works if I just hit the things so that's why I'm going to get a light for you guys so I'll be back in a sec so as I said this is now fully functional um, it might not seem like it but it is so this is my output source here um, so when every um, the passcode lock that I've chosen is um, turned on. All these repeaters will turn off and then what I've got here is an inverter so once all that's turned off this will actually turn on and then power up that redstone lamp. So I'll show you an example now. So my passcode lock was an X so we're going to put a array there, array there, oops make sure you don't stand too close to it, array there, array there and array there. And now you can see that the redstone lamp is now turned on. So this is just an example. What you could extend this off to is possibly a secret hidden door. You can go look at my other tutorials. Another good idea what you could use for it is um, this secret staircase door here. So um, you would have to um, not, not um, invert that. And what you would do is you would power the output to this redstone here so um, I'll put the um, random video at the end to that tutorial so you can actually add this onto that. It's actually a really good way to um, store stuff using that way. So I guess this is the end of the tutorial. Um, I hope you have learned how to build this today. It was pretty complex. You can go re-watch the video if you want. So remember to leave a like, it actually took me a while to come up with this idea. And I'll... So I'm going to have to call this a tutorial for today. So I hope you have enjoyed this build, I hope you have learned how to build it. Um, it would be pretty good if you, I could see some video responses with what you have used this in your world. Um, you don't really have to if you don't want to. So remember to leave a like, um, because I do put a lot of effort into making these and um, editing them. If you have any ideas, oh damn it, if you have any ideas for um, redstone builds, leave me a comment and I'll see what I can do. So I'll see you guys next time for another redstone tutorial, and yeah, bye guys.